guys welcome back to today's video so it is Saturday I'm putting my socks on and we are heading out to go run our errands we need to stop by Target because I bought two packs of four four pack four <laughs> Four packs of Amiibo cards. So I gotta pick those up. And... I just hit the front of my leg, that bone on the leg of this table. Getting too crazy. Ugh. But okay. We are picking up, uh, we're sliding by Target to pick up those. And then we are going over to the mall to pick up my new iPhone. And then we're gonna film an iPhone unboxing and then we're gonna finish up with the case. So we can put the case on there. And what the hell is this? I picked up the wrong thing for sure. Why do I have these? I don't even have headphone jacks. So this is like a headphone jack that you can, okay, focus. See the little headphone jacks and you can put keychains on the end of them and you can have cute little dangles in your phone, your headphone jack. But I haven't had a device that had a headphone jack in so long. So I'm kind of confused as to why I even have these or when I would have bought those. I brought those out because I do have some little like lanyard ones and I wanted to attach the Hello Kitty little charm thing to it. But that's not the right thing. That's confusing. Um, I guess I'll find it when I come back. I'm gonna put on my shoes. We're gonna sit on the floor right here on top of this Amazon envelope because the floor is dirty and I don't wanna get my tights all dusty. So, yeah. It is 10.29. My check-in is in between 11 and 11 uh, 15 so i need to hurry up anyway it would just be nice to get some footage with that camera just to see what the hell's going on but okay i'm so thirsty i'm thinking about bringing like a gallon of water with me this battery's about to die um i believe i charged my other battery i'm gonna throw this one on the charger and then see you guys I don't know why it feels like my camera is turned so far over. So I started to come over to Target. It's 1046. I started just to go into Target, pick up my order, and then I decided I actually want to walk around Target. So I'm going to leave. Even though I was like right outside of Target, I'm actually just going to go over to the mall to pick up my phone because I would rather not rush in Target because I want to see if they have other Amiibo cards because I was lucky to even have got the four packs that I did. I think I got two Series 1s and two Series 2s. They didn't have any 3s or 4s. It's kind of a dreary day. It's like 64. There's really not much sun. It's just kind of gray-blue out here. Hopefully at the Apple store, they're not gonna try to make me set up the phone and everything I want them just to hand it to me and then let me leave like I can't unbox this here y'all I gotta unbox this at home. Just hand it to me so we can get to getting So fingers crossed We are back in the car and we have secured Our iPhone <sighs> Um, I gave them my old phone right now. The phone is not activated and I'm sad I don't have freshly done nails to do this unboxing, but oh, my nails look like crap. I was like in the store trying to like hide them like they're not horrible but they're like a little grown out and I would have liked to have like freshly done ones in order to do this unboxing but it is what it is I think honestly I just want to get five guys get a slushy and go home I still need to stop by Target but I need my QR code and I can't get that unless I unbox. Maybe I should go home really quick, unbox this, and then come back out to run the rest of my errands. 
so maybe I won't go to Trader Joe's. I don't really need anything, and I feel like if I go, I'm just going in and there's spend unnecessary money, and I'm trying to stop spending unnecessary money, so I think I'm gonna go home, then go to Target. I should have left the house earlier and picked up that order, but it's fine. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow, because I am going to my aunt's tomorrow, because that's like the only family member that I actually see. Um, I'm gonna go to my aunt's and put up Taylor's string lights. So I have to bring like my stool and then hopefully we can reach the ceiling and uh, put those up. Can I get out this way? Yeah, I can, okay. You guys, I have a food addiction, like for real. I literally, just like eating and I feel like it makes me happy so I just eat too much but this week I have been making sure that I eat when I'm hungry and I'm not just snacking so I'm trying to cut it out because if I blow up like a balloon I have nobody to blame but myself and I'll be crying because none of my clothes fit and I have to buy new clothes and everybody's gonna be like Christy you look you gained a little weight like <laughs> Nobody's ever said that to me. <laughs> so I feel like it would be shocking because I feel like my brand has always been like, oh, Chrissy's just skinny. Even though I don't feel like I'm that skinny, I feel like I'm like regular size. Like I'm a normal average size person in my opinion, but people who are bigger are always the people calling me skinny. It's never a skinny person being like skinny. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh my God, what if I go home and then I get comfortable and then I don't come back out? That is so dangerous. Mm, what a Five Guys burger with like peppers on it. I'm definitely gonna have to come back out because I need food. Yesterday I got Wingstop and every week, for, I think for the past four weeks, I've been getting wings. And I think like yesterday I ate them but I wasn't like really hype about it. So I think that the wing addiction is done and I won't feel the urge to get it every week. I have been craving Chipotle, and I know Chipotle has that new meat, so I kinda wanna try just like a single taco with that new meat in it and then get my normal bowl. So I think on my way to my aunt's tomorrow, I might be like, y'all want Chipotle or nah? I was gonna be like, let me call her now and ask, but I don't have my phone, and I think my aunt's driving to Springfield today, so I don't wanna call and distract her anyway. Hmm. Maybe I'll freshly do my nails and then I'll open up my phone. It's that serious. Okay, I don't even know what to do because I have no music. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? I'm, gonna, I'm going home really quick because I need music. I have to have a phone. So I'm gonna go home. So I decided to pop over to Whole Foods because the way the weather is looking, it feels like I should get something to drink from here, get my burger, and then go home because it's looking like it's gonna rain. I actually think I am gonna do my nails before I head out, uh, before I actually unbox this so I can have fresh nails, so I couldn't do it. Like, I can't do it an unboxing where my hands are gonna be all in focus and my nails look like I've been digging ditches all morning, so yeah. Let's pop in here, pop over there, and then head on back home. It's so odd to be out and about with no phone. Um, the lady at Whole Foods, she said she liked my, uh, my hoodie. Also, they had a whole case of the pineapple Waterloo, so of course I had to get it. And then, hold on, let me throw it on the floor. Ugh. Cause I'm trying not to buy pop. So I bought that and I they had a case of peach black tea sparkling water and I was like let me try that so I got a little can of it and I got two yogurts so this one is a lemon curd with Greek yogurt I thought that sounded good and then I also got a mango with Greek yogurt so if I love these I'm gonna be in here getting these way too often Also, I think Whole Foods sells mangoes year-round because I went in there and they had a whole bunch of mangoes and I'm like, ah, 
is this the exotic fruit section? Because there was dragon fruit over there. Um, what else? Papayas, kiwis, you know, things that we normally don't get in the U.S. of A. I don't know. Where are mangoes grown? That just seems way too tropical to be like a, uh, like a here fruit. Maybe it is a here fruit, but you can only get it like in super hot areas. I don't know. I don't know anything about growing stuff, so don't quote me or get mad at me because I'm ignorant. I was scared that car was gonna keep pulling out and just T-bone me to death. Ugh. It's so awful. I'm gonna be sitting in Five Guys with no phone, just waiting for my order, just sitting there awkwardly with nothing to look at to seem like I'm so busy and disinterested. So I'm gonna be sitting there looking super not busy and super interested all the things I don't like. Is this, I would park there, but people are double parked with your little crap car. Nobody wants to hit your car. Like, why do people double park? Is it because they can't park or is it because they think somebody's gonna hit their mom car or something? Like, I need to know the reasoning behind your double parking. Or you just don't care about other people. Like, are you just selfish? This person is slightly double parked too. Like, so annoying. I don't know. Maybe that's my privilege talking. Not everybody has a backup camera, so let me relax, okay? Check my privilege. <sighs> Burger secured. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go home and dog this. All right, I'm gonna fly home in silence because I have no music and I guess I'm gonna go home and hang out in silence. Well, I have my iPad, so I guess I'll be watching Midnight Mass while I eat and while I do my nails because I think I have like three episodes left of Midnight Mass because I was just up last night just binge watching it. The, um, I didn't even see that lady. Um. Oh my gosh, the first episode of Midnight Mass, like 13 minutes in, I literally, like they had kind of like a, uh, I don't know if it was like a jump scare or I don't even know if they can even call it, it kind of was a jump scare because they keep throwing random ones in there and I'm just watching, I'm chilling. I see the characters, like I wasn't paying attention so I see the characters like get scared and they jump. I'm like, well, what was that? So I rewind it and I go back to see what I missed and truly frightening. I literally went, <gasps> <laughs> once I saw what they did but okay on the way home I'm gonna carry all this crap in try not to eat all my fries on the way there and get to business I just was thinking like dang should I go to Buskins since they're Saturday and they're open and they'll most likely be closed tomorrow but no no, I don't need anything sweet. I'm gonna stand over here at my dirty kitchen sink and uh, wash my hands. All right, now they did sell this by the case. So it's Nixie Sparkling Water. The flavor is peach black tea. Focus, please. I wanna go ahead and try this on camera because I'm probably not gonna eat on camera because you guys just saw me eat a burger with this same exact burger last week. Probably a few days ago, if I'm being honest. This is amazing. Wow. Wow. I might have to go back and get another one of these. It tastes just like a peach tea, but then it's sparkling. This is good. There we go. Finished inhaling my food. It is 1.11. I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock my nails out. Hopefully I can be done with my nails by three o'clock. That way, maybe I can pop over to Target and get my Amiibo cards, film the unboxing for my phone. Well, first I have to do the unboxing for my phone and then I can do my Amiibo cards because I need my phone to pick up my Target order. Peeling off this old polish. 
I think tomorrow I'll wash my hair. I feel like I should wash it today, but I don't really feel like it. I wanna go ahead and show you guys my phone case, but okay. I'm gonna sit here and focus on taking this polish off so I don't, you know, scrape off my skin and really screw off, screw myself, so be right back. Okay, we're back. It's uh, 4.03. I did get done with my nails before four o'clock, but I was sitting here and I was just messing with this phone case. And I also, in the midst of messing with a pair of scissors, I snipped my finger a little bit, but we didn't cut it off, so it's fine. Um, uh, it's time for me to go ahead and film the unboxing for this iPhone, which is still in the box, in the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and then a way I can move on. Cause I still want to pop by Target. I mean, I just said what time it was. I don't know why I went and looked at the clock, but I'm gonna get this phone open cause I miss not having a phone. It's, I haven't had a phone since uh, like 12, 11, mid 11 ish, but okay. All right, we had to make a quick outfit change just so that we can film our unboxing, but we finally have a phone again and we are heading to Target because I need a couple things from Target. I don't, well, I think I'll pick up my order. Um, I needed more bubble bath and I, th I think I just wanted to walk around just see what's going on over there. So let's go do that. All right, so here are some clips of me at Target. They had so much Animal Crossing stuff, like just cute little plushies. I don't feel like I collect things like this. So I really wasn't interested, but this KK slider pillow was really cute. Uh, they had a bunch of Switch controllers, a bunch of cute Joy-Cons. Didn't really need them, but you know, I like looking at stuff because that's my thing. And so many Amiibos. I want to go back and get more so bad. Um... Halloween decor. I still have the skull waffles, but kind of interested in the spider waffles. Not so much pumpkin because eh, don't really care. I don't know. I'm just thinking of like Halloween bakery baking ideas and little treats or crafts I can do. I'm just feeling very uninspired in my current place to do anything with it. Like, and this is my favorite time of year and I just don't feel motivated to even decorate so yeah so now i'm just walking around target trying to hide my phone from people so they don't think i'm recording them but it's just aisles of candy nothing new just same old same old boring candies but hopefully maybe when it gets closer to the actual holiday we'll have some new stuff out and i always like this little tray thing in the middle of the, the aisle it always has really nice stuff um, these cups are really cute. I kind of wanted one, but once I touched it, and that's my finger in the frame, um, once I touched it, I realized it was plastic and was like, never mind. But, you know, if it was glass, I would have liked that. All the kitty costumes, they had all the cute stuff. I kind of like that ranch dressing costume. Uh, there's the floor. Somebody walked by. <laughs> um more kitty costumes but just look how sparse everything is i just feel like i'm just very empty and then we're gonna run through this aisle really quick too it's the marshmallow guy from ghostbusters i think i didn't go around and get any photos of him because i don't like having good footage it's not my favorite thing at all um, more random stuff but i think these were adult costumes weren't really interested because i was annoyed with the christmas decor out Got some Halloween plates. I gotta start thinking of what we're gonna do for uh, Creep Week. I don't have any ideas. I need to start thinking of some. I'm like, can I carve another pumpkin? That sounds like an awful time though. Like really messy. And a lot of extra stuff to do. I don't know, I'll think about it. Um, I got all carving kits and stuff over here. Random crap. Oh, some decor. So these were really cute, really tall. I don't have anywhere to put them, but I love them. Uh, those tiny pumpkins that I'm walking up on now, they're so loud. I touched them and they were just so loud. And then because I couldn't help myself, I like, I don't know. I think I touched another one and then had to get out the aisle because I was like, oh my God, so much attention. 
Yeah, I didn't even touch the button and that one just came to life out of there. Really embarrassed, trying to laugh it off. Look at those. Isn't that like Pet Shop of Horrors, the Femi Seymour guys? I love the Venus flytrap ones and the pumpkins. I might go back and get one of those. Look at this crap, hate it. Now the hot air balloon pumpkin guy, adorable. So cute, blue dude next to him, not so much. Watermelon pumpkin, he aight. Um, I kind of want to go back and get this pumpkin sign. I hate how kind of square he is, but it's neon and that's my thing. Little dog, he's lit. <laughs> it says lit dog, he was cute. This little ghost with his little dot eyes. Pumpkin guy's kind of cute, but the little grin reaper, he is adorable. I just don't have anywhere to put these little adorable things, but I want to, but just look how empty it is. Where's all the Halloween decor? Oh wait, now I'm kind of think I should have got that. Why didn't I get that? I just looked at it and then walked away. <gasps> I did like the little pumpkin lanterns. Now that I'm sitting here watching this footage back, I'm like, dang, do I need to go back to Target? So now I'm over at the sparkling water station and I'm realizing that uh, Target has a lot of flavors of the Waterloo. What's up with the booberry dude? Like, doesn't he look sad or he doesn't look very impressed with that bowl of cereal he's trying to get us to buy? Mm. So I forgot the camera at home and I was just like, oh my God, didn't even notice until I left Target. So I just recorded some stuff on my camera uh, with my phone. Forgot to do cinematic mode. I don't know. Do I deserve nice things? Um, I'm gonna put this oat milk in the fridge. I got a caramel apple because it's caramel apple season. So I'm gonna wash my hands and then show you guys the surprise because I'm so happy I went to Target and just look like cleaned up basically is what happened. All right, I also wanna take off my shoes because honestly wearing boots around the house is not comfortable. Ugh. I already have my new charger just laying on the floor. Gorgeous. All right. I feel like let's start by saying that this room smells amazing because there's just candles everywhere in here. They're not lit when the lids are still on, but they just got the whole living space smelling amazing. But let me show you what we got today. Look at all these packs of Amiibo cards. So we have basically six because these I'm not opening. I just got them just to get them, maybe for like a giveaway or something, but I just could not buy a pack of them. But we got six of the other ones. So we got two series two, two series ones, and two series fours. Can't get my hands on some series threes, but we're gonna try our best. Maybe um, see if we can find them online somewhere. But these are my first packs of official Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. I just want Pietro. Like they had so many series fours at a Target. Series fours and ones, like so many. And a lot of these too, but. My burps taste like five guys. But I wanted to go ahead and open this up and share with you guys what we got today. Let's start with both of the series ones. Okay, let's put that. Oh my gosh. So excited to live in a time where I can get amiibo cards. Okay. That way I don't see what they are. When I open them, I need to get a card case at this point because I'm going to have so many. Oh, look how nice the official ones are. It's like metallic or reflective right there. Let's flip them over. Okay, we got, all right, focus on the cards. We got Pancetta, Eunice, Tutu, Octavian, <laughs> Jambet, and Joan. Oh, is this um the little war hog thing that does the turnips? This must be the original character that did the turnips, and this one is holographic. I think this is a pretty good set so far. I mean, I did have Octavian before. We're gonna open up the second pack. This is so much fun. I definitely need to get some sort of card carrying case. That way I can 
store them somewhere and make sure they stay nice. I think I'll be hopping on Amazon to do that when I get done with here. Oof. Okay. Oh, Walker, he's cute. Walker, Cole, <gasps> Cherry. Quillison, Kyle, and DJ KK. So far, no repeats. That's really good. Nice little stack there. All right, now we're going for series two. Still no Pietro, but let's keep going. Like, I'm opening these up so monstrously. Ooh. All right. We got Kit Kat, Pecan, she's cute, Filbert, Carmen, Lucha, Chip. Oh, this is who the, um, what's his name? CJ? I think his name is CJ. That's who he replaced. All right. Another pack of series two. These are addictions. Like I already feel like I should go back up to Target and buy more of these. That is, I won't, but I, that's how I definitely feel. I feel like if I'm, if I'm in Target and I just happen to see that they're there still, then I should go ahead and just grab more because I really want Pietro, right? That's who we really want to see here. <sighs> uh, Drift, I've never seen him before. Agnes, I'm getting a lot of characters that I actually like. Oh, spoke too soon. Moose, <gasps> Cookie! Oh, Savannah, and oh, Tommy. Not to be confused with Timmy. All right, two more packs. Still no Pietro. So we got about 10 more chances to pull Pietro since at least one of the cards is usually like an NPC. Oh. I feel like I have to keep going until I get Pietro, right? Like it just wouldn't be right. All right, we got Gloria, Sydney, ugh, Elise, Lucy, Mallory, Gulliver. I feel like I'm getting a lot of characters that are actually in New Horizons or or have were replaced in New like New Horizons. All right, last pack. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to go up there and buy more packs. There's just no other way. Not today though, cause I'm back in the house for today, of course. She's so cute. Rowan. He looks like a tiger, Tony the Tiger. Annalise. Celia. Pashmina. <gasps> Isabel. Oh, I feel like I got good packs. I just didn't get Pietro. Look at that stack. I definitely need to get a card case. But. Oh, I'm sad no Pietro. Uh, should I go back and buy like five more packs? <laughs> oh, that's how I kind of feel. All I want is a Pietro Amiibo. I know there's a series five coming out, so maybe I can get Pietro in season five, but who knows? I really, really need him just because just to have him uh let's see honestly somebody is selling his official amiibo card for only seven dollars 
I wonder is it an official one or is it how are you gonna charge me two dollars to ship a card you can put that in an envelope for free quit playing with me but uh I just wonder is it authentic mm, so he's for sure in series four from what I'm looking at hmm everybody's saying series four so I guess I shouldn't have even considered pulling him out of anything other. Now I feel like I should go back up there and get two more packs of Series 4s. Ah, let me get on Target's website. Mm, no, I really shouldn't. I'm going to just check. It's so crazy because on the website it's saying that they're out of stock. But I was literally up there and they have so many. So I don't understand how their website is like, no, we don't have any. We ain't got that. And yet, I was just in there. And I know for sure you guys do have that. Oh, okay. I'm not going to do it because they're not on the website. So I guess if I'm up at Target and I just happen to pass by the game section, I'll just buy a couple more packets of Series 4 so I can find uh, my Mr. Pietro. But okay, I'm going to go find a card case. And I think... I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm going to go finish watching Midnight Mass. And tomorrow I'm going to get up and I need to go over to my aunt's to help put the string lights up in Taylor's room. So we're going to have a decently waking up time and all that. Look how cute. Very special. But okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.